All right, hey guys, I'm going to show you how to take this. Uh, <clears throat> this is a Gateway laptop. It's an N NV51B, so uh, it's pretty simple. I took out the battery, and I got some of the screws out here. A little putty knife comes in handy to pry that guy up. The cover comes off. I got a bunch of good stuff in here, but... Um, there's several screws on the back here. You take all these guys out. One here. It's handy to have a little dish or something available to throw them in. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then there's this guy right here, right behind your memory. Gotta undo that. Another one right here. Undo that one. And let's see, and then there's four across the back here. These are little tiny ones. Don't drop them inside there. This will be kind of a pain to get back out. And this is pretty similar on all the, the NV models. They're all very similar. Okay, now we got the back side, and I'm gonna dump this over because I got some screws that gotta come out yet. But okay, there's two screws that popped out, and I got one in the middle here I missed. Alright, so I believe that's everything on the back. And then, here's the tricky part. You gotta open this guy up. And, it's a little dirty. But, we gotta take this keyboard out. And the best way i found to get that out is a big fat knife. You start in the one of the back corners here. And there's little tabs that hold these on all the way. So you can get this, get the top there the side and then once you get the sides it should pop out and then if you flip it over here there's this guy here so what we want to do is get a little flathead screwdriver there's a nitty bitty one slide that white bar out and then this will slide off and then our keyboard comes off you don't have to take it off if you don't want to but I decided to take this one off because I'm gonna be getting inside here quite a bit more so then to get our get inside there here's the screws that you got to get to so there's one two three four five six seven eight screws you got to get to and get those out so let me whip those out quick first time I did this I didn't realize that these all these screws were in here so um, I was sitting there prying on my prying on it trying to get it off and if, if you got to pry on it I mean it shouldn't take too much effort to get these things apart they're usually relatively simple okay now so we got that <clears throat> okay so now our our cover should come apart and then be careful here because you got some wires that are connected to this, like your power button cable, and I believe it's this one. I'm just gonna pop this loose, and I'm gonna double check on the back here and make sure I got all my screws out. Oh, and I missed one right there, so that's why it wasn't coming out. So I'll try it again. All right, popping right off. So now that we're this far, there's two things we gotta take off. This one is the power cable, so we're gonna slide that little black tab back. Same thing on that side. And then there's a little plastic tab here, you can pull that out, okay. 
And then this wire right here, I'm not sure what it's for, but we gotta take that out too. I think that's a, for your LEDs, for your lights. Okay. And one more. This guy, sorry. This guy right here, this is for your mouse pad, so there's two tabs right there. Pull that out. So there, then everything pops right off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this, guys, I'm gonna replace this. My USBs have crapped out. I got a dual USB port here and a single USB port here. My single one is good. Um, while you're in here, you can kind of clean things up and take a look. Here's your hard drive. If you want to replace that, your fan, your uh, DVD, DVD, DVR, whatever. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, if you want to go deeper into here, you can go deeper. Um, this drive is pretty simple. It's three screws here and a couple screws here. That comes out. Your fan, I don't know, I haven't messed with that, but I mean, that's getting into the inner workings of your computer. So, um, and then when you want to put it back together, of course, it's just a reverse operation. So, I uh, hope that helped some of you guys out because I know when I first tried to do this, it was a pain in the ass and I, I didn't quite know, you know, this main thing was under the keyboard. So, so there you go, there's taking apart an MV51 gateway. So, hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching. Um, Check out my other channel if you want to. It's Spitfire1821, Spitfire1821. Got a lot of good stuff on there. Subscribe to this channel if you like it. Like it, comment if you want to comment. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.